Hi, now we're gonna learn how to model a highlighter pen in SolidWorks. If you love our work, please subscribe our channel and share to all your friends. And also, don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Uh, uh, today, I will show you how to model a highlighter pen. So, we begin now. We can start by we start with press new document, select part, click OK. So, first we must sketch on front plan. So, we select front plan over here, select sketch. So, after that, first we need to do construction rectangular. So, we select the rectangular, do rectangular at the center, and the option we select the for construction okay so the dimension for here is 26.9 and for height is 16.7 16.7 right. so this one we exit now click means okay this okay so here so we go back to front plan select sketch select line so this line we select center line center line so we do cross like this to show the midpoint where is midpoint so here is the midpoint the uh, here is the midpoint for the rectangular for this side for this one for this side this one for this side so now we select the line to sketch the profile this line we must make sure it at, at center. So how to make it at the center? We first we click this line, hold shift shift button and select this midpoint. And we add the relation midpoint. So it become midpoint already at the center. Also same like here. Hold shift select point and midpoint after that we select r press here 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 okay. uh, this r must be coincident with this point so this r we select this r and we hold shift select this point and press coincident this one coincident see but it's not symmetry yet for, to make sure it's symmetry, we select this point. This this point is for this R. So this point, we press whole shift, select this line and select coincident. So now it's parallel. I mean, it's parallel to this line, and it's okay. So the dimension for this R is. 10 R10. Here also same. Create new R like that. And this one also must coincident. Coincident. So this this profile is fully defined. Okay. Click okay at here. So after that we go to top plan. Now we want to create new plan. So to create new plan, we must select top plan select center line this center line for guideline for new plan so this this center line dimension is 73.5 so i want to make new plan at this point that's why i create this line press ok press ok so now we have this line already to create new line and to create new plan go to reference geometry select plan so for first reference we took this line and second reference we took this point this and point okay 
So now we already create new plan one. So how to sketch on this plan? So we must do like this. Click this plan and select this sketch. Like that. So this is from view. This sketch is very disturbing. So I need to hide it. How I hide it? I go here. Sketch. Sketch one. So I click sketch one. Sorry. I click sketch one. I click hide. Click hide. One more. Hide. Okay. Now we can sketch on the plan one. Select rectangular. This rectangular again for construction. And this dimension is 21.9. And this height is 11.9. 11.9 enter okay so this plan actually we can hide it how to hide it we just go to this tree we right click on this plan and we select hide so now see you cannot see already the plan the plan one so the how to sketch on the plan one that we go to plan one right click and we click sketch now we can we sketch on plan one. Take the center line again. Like this, like this, this, like this. And select the line also. One. This point. Make sure this line are midpoint. Midpoint. This one. Midpoint. Okay. Select R. This R must coincide with this point. Coincide. So this dimension for R is R10. See? It's not symmetry. So how is to make symmetry? We take this point, this R center point, coincide with this line. Coincide. One more. Here also same. Coincide. Now this the sketch is fully defined. So enter. So this line I gonna to hide. Ah, that sketch gonna hide. And sketch two I show back because we want to join to make a solid part between these two profile. So to do that we must sketch the profile. For top profile we go to top view, select top plan, select sketch. Uh, select R this point to this point okay so we see is it this point can move ah uh, if can move like this we must fix it how to fix this we select this point end of this point I mean end of this R select this R press shift select this line see this line and this point we select this one fish So, this one also we need to test. Is it? Ah, also moving. Moving, we click this point and point. Press shift, press and hold shift. Select this line. We click this. Pierce. Click. Ah, now it's not, cannot move already. Not moving already. So, we take one more center line to make it. This line is vertically. This line must be vertically vertically and this curve must be tangent with this line we select press shift or you can do just like uh, left click and drag until you see the green box color and release which means you already select between these two lines 
So make it a tangent. So now this line is fully defined. We make another side here and here. This one also move in. Click here. Hold shift. Select this curve. Select pH. This one pH. So to make sure it's same, I just gonna do like this. Like that. And press equal. Relation equal. So this line and this line is equal. Okay. Okay. So now we sketch on right plane. Sketch. Select line. Like that. Like that. Now select this line. Press shift. PH. This line. This, this end of line. PH. This line. This line. PH. This line. This line. PH. Okay. So now we have the profile already. But to make sure it's all straight line. So I gonna add some more line on this between this point to this point. So we gonna to have eight of line. So we go to sketch at the bottom sketch. You see at one arrow, click at one arrow, select 3D sketch, and select the line. So we just join this this point one point to this one. Okay. It's not moved already because you lock already. So this one to this one, this one, this one, this one to this one. So now we have eight total line that we, that join between this profile to this profile. So select OK, select OK. So now we gonna take features, select love ball. So the profile, first profile, we gonna take this one, one, another one here. So see. So now we gonna select the cut curve. We got eight the cut curve. One, okay. Two, okay. Three, okay. Four, okay. Five, okay. Six, okay. Seven, okay. Eight, okay. Now profile already select. Come like this. So now we have the solid object already. So this one we just hide first. After that, we do the fillet. Variable fillet. We go to fillet. Choose the variable period size this one this one select this line one two three four now it's not showing yet because the value for radius is we not put yet how to put it just go down there first we gonna do set as five we need to have two radius different in the front we're gonna put five at the back. We're gonna put three. So this one first we do five. So we set all five. You see now we come five. So to not confuse, we just do us isometric view, and we rearrange this value. One, this one for this one. 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 This one so this is front this is back at the back we need to set three so variable radius for this one is three so click here just put value three here also same three another one oh sorry this one chaos okay this one three oh this one move already okay three 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 here also three now we okay you see here five here three five three five three five three so done after that we gonna do one more profile at 
this back so we select this surface this is flat surface so we can sketch on this surface select this surface so click that to sketch so what i gonna do is i want this profile so how i want the original profile is i go to here sketch number five i click sketch number five i press here select convert entities so you get this original profile without the fillet yet so now i want to offset this profile by 3.5 this offset profile 3.5 but i want inside so i press the reverse select reverse so make sure you take this base geometry otherwise your line will be solid line it's not construction line this base geometry means construction line okay select that so i want to extra cut this profile extra cut this profile so extra cut by 2.3 only 2.3 and i want to have some angle it's three degree yeah three degree enter so now we have this profile ready now we're gonna to fill it fill it this oh sorry this one is variable we must choose constant constant so the dimension is only 0 0.5 so where to fill it is here only one two three four I see this fillet 0 0.5 too small. Mm, maybe I change to 1. Okay, change to 1. Okay. So now this surface, I want to fillet 0 0.5. So maybe, or oh, 1 too much. So I just do, just put 0 0.5. 0 0.5 here and also here. 0 0.5. Okay. So for this now, outside line, I want to fillet 1 or maybe 1.5. Yeah, press fillet. This one, press here. Zero point five too small. One, I'm not so good, so I choose one point five. Ah, uh, much better. So now we gonna do shell. We hide this line. So we take this shell, this shell, shell. Okay, we shell by one point one, one point one. If we share like this, we only share inside this solid part. How to see this? We go to section view. Section view, we select this right plane. So you see, the inside is zero. We have thickness by 1.1, I right? So what I, what I want to do is actually to have hollow at here. See, solid. I want to have hollow here. How I'm gonna do like that? Go back to share, right click over there, select edit features, and this this box we must select the surface where is we want to open. So this surface we want to open. Select this surface. Click OK. Now, yeah. Now we have this this kind of shape. Yeah. This is what I want. So after that, we gonna do sketch at this surface. This is flat surface, so I can sketch in on this surface. So I click sketch. I want to convert entities. Go to front back from you. Select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, this line. This line and this line okay so this profile i want to make offset by 0 0.2 offset 0 0.2 0 0.2 remember select this base geometry okay so this profile i gonna do some extra cut by 4 mm 4 mm okay now we finish the part the body part for highlight okay see very close now we close the line see 